looks like a dog. It kind of runs like a horse. It is the beaver that is saving wildlife. Imagine a world where the most extraordinary species, once thought lost forever, could rise from the ashes and reclaim their place in the ecosystem. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of possibility, where science and hope converge, presenting tantalizing questions. Can we resurrect species while maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystems? And what moral dilemmas must we navigate as we play Mother Nature? From the haunting calls of the Tasmanian tiger to the thunderous footfalls of the woolly mammoth, get ready to have your imagination stirred and your notions of extinction challenged as we delve into 20 unbelievable species that just might make a comeback. Number 20, Tasmanian Tiger. Let's take a tour to Australia, a land teeming with extraordinary creatures found nowhere else on our planet. But wait, things took a wild turn with the arrival of European settlers. The thylacine, also called the Tasmanian Tiger, a marsupial carnivore with a unique history, once roamed Australia, New Guinea, and South Tasmania. Thriving under the cover of night, as it hunted kangaroos and fellow marsupials. However, trouble brewed with the colonizers' arrival, who didn't treat the native animals kindly. The thylacine faced extinction as neglect pushed it into a tragic farewell in 1936, marking the end of an era. And guess what? Chaos followed. As the top predator vanished, the ecosystem spiral led into turmoil. Diseases ran rampant, Invasive species partied without restraint, and Aussie mammals suffered an unprecedented disaster, contributing to a whopping 35% of global mammal extinctions. But hold on, there's a glimmer of hope. Enter colossally, the University of Melbourne, and the boldly named Tigger. United in purpose, they aim to rectify this catastrophe. Through advanced gene editing, they're reviving thylacine cells and nurturing them within dasurid surrogates. These revitalized creatures will eventually return to Tasmania, aiding in ecosystem restoration. Here's to a second chance for thylacine to once again make Australia's ecosystem thrive. Fingers crossed for this remarkable revival. Number 19. Bald Eagle The bald eagle's comeback story is like the underdog plotline of a Hollywood movie. A plucky protagonist, brought down by villainous hunting, pesticide drama, and a truly toxic relationship with DDT. Once the poster child for freedom and wilderness in North America, it faced a dramatic plot twist, with its numbers plummeting faster than a skydiving penguin. But hold on to your binoculars, because this bird's tail took a turn for the epic. Just when you thought its fate was sealed, cue the triumphant music and enter the heroes of the story, the conservationists. Armed with the U.S. Endangered Species Act and a firm resolve to say DDT na to pesticides, they swooped in like ecological avengers. Legal protections were their capes, and bans on DDT were their shields. With habitats getting a renovation worthy of HGTV, this wasn't just a comeback. It was a species-style extreme makeover. Fast forward to today and the bald eagle isn't just soaring through the skies. It's doing an aerial victory lap high-fiving other species on the way. It's a reminder that we humans, with our power tools and driving skills that occasionally veer into oops, sorry, Mr. Squirrel territory, can also be the good guys in this environmental drama. But wait, there's a sequel. The bald eagle's triumphant return comes with a few plot twists, habitat loss, lead poisoning, drama with human activities. Turns out the world of conservation isn't all smooth sailing. It's like the bird is saying, I've overcome DDT, now can someone talk to these humans about recycling? Number 18, Woolly Mammoth. Ever caught wind of the wild scheme to thwart the vanishing ice caps and rescue our imperil-led planet? Brace yourself for the scoop. They're mulling over resurrecting the Woolly Mammoth. Yep, those colossal beings that soared to 12 feet high and hefted weight akin to eight cars combined. Time was mammoths roamed the mammoth steppe spanning Europe, Asia, and North America. Cool, huh? But why mammoths for climate crunch time? Visualize this. In the frosty Arctic tundra, permafrost reigns, ground frozen solid for years. Alas, due to global warming, it's defrosting. The result? 
carbon eruption, supercharging climate change and endangering species. Here strides Dr. Sergei Zimov, a wily geophysicist with a radical fix. His idea? Transform the thawing tundra back to mammoth-era grassland, a shield against permafrost melt. How? Let hefty grass-munching mammoths chomp and stomp. This deepens winter permafrost freeze and cocoons it in summer's grassy quilt. Ingenious, right? But it's not that simple. Mammoths are a must. Dr. George Church, a hip scientist at Colossal Biosciences, aims to blend mammoth marvels with modern elephants. Envision an Arctic elephant, 1% mammoth genes, tundra savvy. Miraculously, mammoth DNA persists, beyond 1650 BCE, way past pyramids. True, snags exist cloning conundrums and skeptics' arching brows. Still, colossal eyes and elephant-mammoth blend by 2027. Fancy a mammoth pet. These furry behemoths might rescue our world from hot waters, or should we say, melting ice. Cross those fingers! Number 17. Gastric Brooding Frog Ever pondered the mundane nature of childbirth? What if birthing took a whole new turn? Imagine you're a woman, and instead of the norm, you think, I'll just nurture my eggs and gestate the baby right in my belly. Sounds crazy, huh? Well, brace yourself. A frog actually did something quite similar. Flashback to the 70s in Australia, where the southern gastric brooding frog was found. Trust us, its approach to procreation was beyond unconventional. Enter Mike Tyler, a renowned frog expert who decoded the mystery. Here's the lowdown. This mama frog swallowed her eggs, transforming her stomach into a cozy nursery. No stomach acid, just nurturing vibes. But wait, no eating for six weeks. About 20 to 25 tadpoles matured inside her. Her belly expanded so much that her lungs shifted and she began breathing through her skin. Talk about adaptation. Ultimately, after the wait, she regurgitated her babies, fully formed froglets. Incredible, right? Regrettably, these distinct frogs vanished in the 80s, likely due to deforestation, invasive species, and deadly fungus. Keep the enthusiasm, Dr. Michael Archer was determined to revive them. Collaborating with Tyler, he employed frog DNA wizardry to resurrect these frogs. The process wasn't smooth. They mixed the unique DNA with another frog's eggs, but this frog laid eggs only once a year. Tough luck, right? Unlike other revived species, these frogs were solitary and didn't need fancy frog folks. But guess what? In 2011, Archer succeeded. Baby frog embryos were back. So with luck, those mama frogs might grace us with regurgitated frog babies once more. How mind-blowing and thrilling is that? Number 16. The Black-Footed Ferret Remember the days of joyous pop-goes-the-weasel renditions during our carefree childhood? Unbelievably, that innocent melody now carries a weightier story. Consider those charismatic critters, mustelids, ferrets, for instance. Intriguingly, certain members of their clan are facing unprecedented challenges. Take the black-footed ferret, once an agile player across American plains, now struggling to endure. Once abundant, these creatures now cling to mountainous territories in predominantly nighttime escapades, savoring prairie dogs. A lamentable reality unfolds as their habitats transform into farmland, an aftermath of human interference. Further misfortune strikes in the form of a plague reminiscent of a historical pandemic. The year 1979 witnessed their extinction in the wild, but a glimmer of hope emerged through the capture of 18 specimens for a revival endeavors. A standout Willa never became a mother herself, but her genes breathed life into Elizabeth Ann a real-world clone. Astonishingly, Elizabeth Ann won't perpetuate her lineage due to a procedure, yet scientists zealously pursue cloning more ferrets from Willa's genetic legacy, thus a chance to rescue these endearing creatures from oblivion dawns. So the next time the nostalgic tune of Pop Goes the Weasel graces your thoughts, recall this saga of wild ferrets. A twist of fate may indeed salvage these charming ruffians, let the spirit of these ferrets endure. Number 15. California Condor The California Condor, that famously sociable avian celebrity, stages a triumphant return, leaving vultures worldwide astonished. Wings outstretched like private runways, this bird teetered on the edge of vanishing. 
But pause your binoculars. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service dove in, orchestrating a heroic rescue. Enter Chip Yost from KTLA, an intrepid correspondent to Bitter Creek National Wildlife Refuge, a scene from a western sunset. The condor pulled a Houdini, vanishing like a magician's rabbit. By the 1980s, they rivaled remote cabin Wi-Fi in rarity. Then the ingenious plan, gather them for bird rehab. Cameras caught their bewildered looks, transported to a bird spa. Allies like the San Diego Zoo Safari Park united, nurturing condor stars. But a twist emerged. These birds carved lead, not on the screen, but lead bullets from hunters. A lead-heavy diet led to early farewells. Luckily, California banned lead ammo in 2019. Now, dining serene, they salve our safer fare. Like protagonists conquering adversity, California condors reclaim their celebrity, soaring skyward. Number 14. Mountain Pygmy Possum Bound for Victoria's Mount Hottam Ski Resort? Keep those eyes peeled. A mountain pygmy possum might grace your sight. This petite charmer, thumb-sized, once deemed history-like ancient fossils, was rediscovered alive in a ski lodge log pile back in 1966. But this possum isn't your typical party-goer. It slumbers through seven hardy months, cozying in snow-kissed burrows, indulging in the world's lengthiest nap. Occasional snacking breaks the slumber, akin to your midnight fridge raids. Come spring, these possums emerge from snowy retreats, savoring bugs, bogong moths, seeds, and berries. Yet the somber note, fewer than 2,000 remain due to harsh realities. Ski resorts and habitat changes pose challenges. Invasive intruders like feral cats and foxes view them as an endless feast, while shifting climates disrupt sanctuaries. Dr. Michael Archer aims to aid these possums. His plan? Relocate them to ancestral grounds from eons ago. A possum odyssey, if you will. Archer's crew pioneers this, introducing possums to new forests and observing adaptation. Will they settle or yearn for their old abode? Time holds the answer, an enthralling experiment. Here's to these possum pals thriving, showcasing adaptability in their fresh woodland haven. Number 13. Przewalski's Horse Przewalski's Horse, the emblem of nature's comeback kids, illustrates that human determination can orchestrate even the most obscure creature's triumphant return to center stage. This horse, resembling an elegant dessert more than a majestic creature, transformed from declared extinction to a grand re-entry, astonishing all involved. From the rugged terrains of Central Asia, Przewalski's horse teetered on the edge of historical obscurity, overshadowed by hunting and real estate ambitions. Wild horses, it seems, succumbs to property allure. Then enters the scene. International organizations, matchmaking zoos, and communities channeling their inner equestrian enthusiasts. Dedicated individuals became horse wingmen, orchestrating captive breeding akin to a horse dating show. The population shifted direction like a skilled GPS, Yet a thrilling twist emerged, genetic diversity. Conservationists elevated the eggs in multiple baskets concept. Pairing horses with meticulous care, they fostered international collaborations to equip these equines with a genetic arsenal, primed for the wild's challenges. Because even the finest horse merits a fair shot. Przewalski's horse isn't solely a quadrupedal success tale, it's a testament that species seemingly lacking glamour deserve a shot at the most remarkable return. Whenever skepticism arises about human tenacity, recount the saga of the horse that transformed extinction into a minor hurdle on its path to triumphant hoof-beating glory. Number 12. Cluckosaurus You won't believe this wild fact. The closest living cousin to the super-scary meat-eating T-Rex is none other than the humble chicken. Yeah, we know. It sounds crazy, right? But hold on, it gets even cooler. Turns out scientists are tinkering around with the idea of bringing back a sort of dino light version using chicken embryos. Back in 2015, these two genius scientists, Dr. Bart Anjan Bular and Dr. Arhat Abzanov, discovered a sneaky way to transform chicken beaks into something resembling those snouts that belong to the thunderous dinosaurs. Okay, let's break it down. You know how birds have beaks? Well, these beaks come from these teeny tiny bone plates called premaxilla. In regular animals like us, these hold our front teeth, 
But in birds, they evolved and mashed together to create that beak. Cool, right? So these scientists thought, what if we could turn back the clock on a chicken's beak? They slipped some magical beads into the face of chicken embryos, which released chemicals that stopped beak growth. And bingo, the embryos sprouted snout-like pre-maxilla, like mini dino faces. Now, don't go picturing a farm full of dino chickens just yet. Dr. Jack Horner, another dinosaur lover, dreams of creating a chickenosaurus by adding teeth, a tail, and transforming wings into hands. His goal? To prove that evolution is the real deal. Imagine that, chickens strutting around with a bit of dino in them. Who knows, maybe someday we'll have some feathery friends that give us a glimpse of what it was like to hang out with real-life dinosaurs. How cool would that be? Number 11. Scimitar-Toothed Cat Imagine you're strolling down the street, doing your thing, when out of nowhere a huge cat with dagger-like teeth leaps right at you. Talk about annoying. And guess what? It decides your lawn is its new litter box and doesn't even bother covering it up. Nightmare, right? Well, hold on to your hats because this might not just be a wild thought. In 2020, the smart folks at the University of Copenhagen cracked the code of the scimitar-toothed cat's genetic blueprint. This cat, a cousin to the saber-toothed cat, was a real tough cookie. The university's scientists got their hands on DNA from a cat that had been chilling in the icy ground of Canada's Yukon Territory for over 47,000 years. Yeah, you heard right, one ancient kitty. What did they find out? These cats were no joke. Imagine a cat as heavy as a car and longer than your living room. That's the scimitar-toothed cat. They dined on bison, deer, and even mammoths. Fossils of these cool cats have been spotted all around the world, proof of their reign. But don't you worry, we're in the clear from these mega cats taking over. Turns out our planet's current phase is the first time in ages without saber-toothed terrors. We missed them by a hair. Curious why they vanished? Climate change shook things up, leaving less food for these big kitties and stirring up competition with other cat species. As for bringing them back, not so fast. The scimitar-toothed cat has no close relatives nowadays, making resurrection a tricky business. So no need to glance nervously around corners for scimitar-toothed cats prowling around. We're safe and sound. Just remember, even though we won't see these snarly felines again, the story of their teeth and roars lives on. Number 10. The Quagga Do you know about the super cool Quagga breeding project? Okay, it's like a fancy animal matchmaking experiment. You see, there used to be these amazing creatures called Quaggas in South Africa. Despite their cute name, they were tough cookies. They were like a mix between a zebra and a horse, but with their own unique style. But here's the bummer. Those early Dutch folks and later Afrikaners went all hunting spree on them for meat and skins. By the 1850s, these Quaggas were vanishing faster than ice cream on a hot day. And guess what? By the time a few more decades passed, they were officially extinct in the wild. But wait, the story doesn't end there. Some quaggas were chilling in zoos until the last one waved goodbye on August 12, 1883. Sad, right? But guess what we're up to now? We're like real-life time travelers, trying to bring these awesome quaggas back from the past. Picture it. A bunch of enthusiastic folks working together to give these quaggas a comeback tour. Why? Well, because we're thinking about the future. We want our grandkids to meet these unique creatures and not just see them in history books. So there you have it, the Quagga comeback, all for the love of future generations. Number nine, Dodo. Ever heard dead as a Dodo, signifying something utterly vanished? Well, hang on to that phrase like a treasure because it might lose its truth. Let's dive into the Dodo story. Imagine a non-flying, captivating bird on the stunning African island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. Around 8 million years ago, the island appeared, and soon, dodo ancestors settled in, seemingly content. Then, enter the 16th century Dutch sailors, adopted Mauritius as home. They brought unwelcomed guests, cats, dogs, pigs, feasting on dodo eggs, disrupting their lives. Picture a party crasher scenario. Here's the kicker. The dodo wasn't the sluggish dumpling assumed. These birds sprinted like Olympians, not leisurely waddling. A sailor even likened them to catching lightning. Fast forward to 2022, 
when Dr. Beth Shapiro at the University of California unveiled sequencing of the dodo's genetic code. The revelation? Its cousin is the Nicobar pigeon. Mind-bending, right? Now the big idea, revive the dodo. Scientists contemplate adding dodo flair to the Nicobar pigeon's DNA. But hold your horses. Even if successful, the new dodo might differ from our imagination. Plus, birthing a dodo's no cakewalk. Mammals enjoy cozy uteruses for embryo growth. Birds, not so much. Scientists grapple with this puzzle, yet no dodo chicks have hatched. So, while solutions brew, dodo revival hangs in the balance. After all, we wouldn't want all our dodo eggs in one basket, would we? Number 8. The North American Beaver Way back when North America was teeming with these adorable buck-toothed rodents. Yep, beavers. Can you believe there were possibly hundreds of millions of them hanging out before European fur traders came onto the scene? Fast forward a bit, and things took a downturn. For around two centuries, these fur traders couldn't resist the allure of those beaver pelts. And they trapped and trapped until the beaver population hit a measly 100,000 by 1,900. Talk about a tough time for our furry friends. But hold on, here's where the story takes a positive turn. Some clever folks decided it was time to give these beavers a helping hand. They started restocking programs in both the US and Canada. And guess what? The beavers bounced back like champions. Nowadays, these charming critters are thriving, with an impressive 10 to 15 million of them living their best lives in these two countries. Now, here's the fun part. These beavers are like nature's landscapers. They've got skills. They build dams and create wetlands, making some pretty cool changes to the environment. But here's the twist. Not everyone's a fan. Some folks see them as troublemakers, unfairly labeling them as pests. Number 7. The Burmese Star Tortoise In the 90s, the Burmese Star Tortoises faced a dire fate due to the pet trade. Wildlife traders relentlessly exploited them, driving them to near extinction in Myanmar. But in strides the hero, conservationists. These champions took action, rescuing tortoises from smugglers and orchestrating safe havens for their resurgence. Imagine a tortoise paradise. Here's the kicker. In 2004, 200 tortoises clung to existence in these sanctuaries. Fast forward to today. Boom! Over 14,000 of these tortoises thrive. Mind-blowing, right? And guess what? Conservationists aren't hitting the brakes. Enter Steve Platt, the reptile enthusiast. He's gung-ho, aiming for a grand goal, releasing around 100,000 star tortoises back into the wild. Check out the Wildlife Conservation Society's video. These guys mean business in saving these tortoises. This saga of astonishing tortoise recovery. They teetered on the brink, then came back roaring, all thanks to the extraordinary efforts of a dedicated crew. It's a wildlife roller coaster, steered by some truly remarkable individuals. Number 6. Rhino Reunion Dogs and cats, while awesome companions, have their limits. Riding them to work or smashing cars. Not a chance. But how about a prehistoric pet? Buckle up for the woolly rhinoceros. Picture colossal, shaggy creatures roaming ancient Europe and Asia. These furry giants stood 6.5 feet tall, weighing a staggering 3.5 tons. A truck-sized buddy. Alas, they didn't endure. Climate change, the natural kind, disrupted the Ice Age's end. It might have been too hot for their fur, or their snacks vanished. In 2020, a woolly rhino with organs intact emerged from Russian permafrost. Climate change thaws out history's secrets, unveiling mammoths, lion cubs, even pups. A treasure trove of history, right? The woolly rhino's genetic code? Decoded. Science's magic touch. Talk of cloning using their DNA with a relative species arises. But Dr. Albert Protopopov from Russia's Yakutia Academy of Sciences sees the odds as slim. No close kin for rhino romance. While mammoth-sized buddies remain a dream, the thought is exhilarating. Imagine saber-toothed cats squabbling with woolly rhinos. Epic. Still, reviving lies with experts. Until then, cherish existing pets and the astonishing history thawing from ice. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. We've got some super exciting news that'll give you goosebumps. Look at this picture showing what seems to be a tiny mammoth making a surprise appearance. But hold on, we're not sure if it's real or just something made up. 
Maybe clever people in labs are working to bring back these ancient animals. How amazing would that be? Now let's think about this. Could this be a sign of something big coming our way? Are scientists about to pull off something incredible? Or maybe just maybe this whole thing is like a tricky puzzle. So imagine a world where huge mammoths walk around again. Sounds cool, right? But before we get too excited, let's ask ourselves, is this actually happening or is it a trick? Is this tiny creature a game changer or is it all make-believe? We're all on this adventure together, trying to figure out what's true and what's not. As we look at this picture, let's wonder about all the amazing things that could be. Let's know what's your thoughts about this in the comments below. Number 5. The Okarito Kiwi In a distant isle, a realm of delicate avian life flourishes, vulnerable and unguarded. Yet disturbance emerges as foreign predators infiltrate, a disheartening intrusion. The dodo bird knew this plight intimately. Now transpose this scenario to New Zealand, where a wondrous tale unfurls, not of flora, but fauna, the kiwis. Treasured by the land, notably the Okarito kiwi, also dubbed Okarito brown or Rowi kiwi. These rare darlings find their solitary haven in New Zealand, a source of national pride. But their journey has been fraught, disrupted by invaders like dogs and stoats. Yet brace yourself for a renaissance is underway. In the 90s, a mere 150 Okarito kiwis clung to existence. A modest assembly. Then emerged conservation initiatives, their rallying cry, Let's champion these kiwis! Remarkably, it bore fruit. Presently, nearly 450 mature Okarito kiwis parade with pride. A once modest gathering has transformed into a jubilant gala. And what lies ahead? The conservation stalwarts, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, proclaim, Okarito Kiwi, you're in the clear. Can you grasp it? These Kiwis, triumphant returnees, stand testament that even the smallest birds can orchestrate a magnificent resurgence with assistance and unwavering resolve. Here's to the Okarito Kiwi, out of harm's way, poised to conquer new horizons. Number 4. Peregrine Falcon The Peregrine Falcon's incredible recovery from near extinction is a remarkable tale. Once at risk, this determined bird has transformed from a sad story to a conservation success, flying high on the wings of victory. In the mid-20th century, the Peregrine Falcon faced danger from a harmful chemical called DDT. The pesticide weakened their eggs, causing their numbers to drop drastically. But then, Scientists and conservationists stepped in. DDT was banned, and falcons were given a chance. Breeding programs were like matchmaking shows, where falcons were paired up for romance. Chicks born in captivity were trained for the wild. Protected nests became like fancy hotels, ensuring safety. When people stopped harming them, falcons made a comeback. Just like a happy movie ending, the peregrine falcon flew back from the brink of extinction. Their revival shows that determination, conservation, and care can turn dire situations into triumphs. Cheers to the Peregrine Falcon, a true success story. Let their journey inspire us to protect all of Earth's creatures. Number 3. Bucardo In 2003, an event of astonishing significance transpired, a tale still recounted in awe today. Not the rise of a rock band like Audio Slave, but the resurrection of a long-lost creature. Picture the Pyrenean ibex, the Bucardo, a wild goat that once roamed the Pyrenees. 220 years ago, these goats began vanishing, likely due to excessive hunting and habitat conversion. The saga resumed in 1999 with a sole survivor named Celia. Scientists obtained a cell, freezing it for later use. Tragedy struck in 2000 as a falling tree ended Celia's life disheartening the Bucardo devotees. But hold on, the tale perseveres. Enter Jose Folch's ingenious team, who infused Celia's cell components into another goat's egg. Behold, a calf emerged. Regrettably, lung issues stymied its days. DNA manipulation, it seems, hampers a fledgling creature's growth, par for the course in elaborate cloning endeavors. Although this tale culminates sorrowfully, its magnitude remains. The sole instance of resurrecting an extinct creature, albeit briefly. Critics, like London's Zoological Society's Bill Holt, cast doubt on cloning's efficacy for preservation, 
citing minuscule gene pools and susceptibility to illness. As our world shrinks, these resurgent creatures might fade once more. So recall the bygone year of 2003 when a goat's resurgence captivated. Imperfect though it was, it ignited discussions on the prospects in science's wild domain. Number 2. The Elephant Bird Check out these amazing creatures, the elephant birds. Picture this. Big birds, like ostriches, but way bigger. They used to roam Madagascar in the past, around the 17th or 18th century. Now, we're not entirely sure why these cool birds disappeared, but the finger of blame points at us humans. Imagine being so excited that you put bones from different birds together to create a mountain of bones. But oops! Maybe sometimes an extra neck bone from Madagascar sneaked in. These mix and match creations can mess up the real story. These bird homes got wrecked, like a giant game of house demolition. And guess what? We, humans, did that too. We didn't stop at wrecking their cribs. We hunted them down too. Imagine these giant creatures running around. Must have been a sight. Now, all that's left are these fossilized eggs. They've become super precious treasures for museums. While lots of things hurt these birds, it seems like us munching on their eggs was the final straw. Number 1. The Northern Elephant Seal Do you crave an astonishing tale of the Northern Elephant Seal? These remarkable beings possess a truly extraordinary secret, a blubber so precious, akin to an oil-filled treasure chest. Once, this blubber lured fervent hunters, driven by an insatiable desire for its oil. In a surreal twist, by 1819 too, the seals seemingly vanished, victims of human pursuit. But behold the unexpected. In 1910, a cadre of ingenious minds uncovered a minuscule enclave, fewer than 100 seals, finding solace on Guadalupe Island. A spectacular resurgence, right? Mexico recognized their significance, decreeing in 1922, this is hallowed ground, untouchable, and brace yourself for the unbelievable. Nestled in security, the few evolved into a prolific tapestry of seal descendants as if a grand gala beckoned all. Zoom ahead to the present. Lo and behold, 160,000 northern elephant seals populate the global stage. Astoundingly, each owes its lineage to that petite Guadalupe assembly. Behold the saga. From the brink of oblivion to triumph supreme, the northern elephant seal metamorphosed into a saga of epic proportions a genuine tale of the overlooked transmuting into a colossal seal kin, all orchestrated by a touch of preservation and a tidal wave of seal ardor. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.